We've heard it all week. Orange man love orange coin. Did Donald Trump just save Bitcoin in America? Let's dive into it. Okay, so you guys know that I'm not a huge fan. In fact, I hate it when politicians open their big mouths and talk about my precious Bitcoin. I've never seen a politician act genuine. I've never seen a politician actually do the right thing. It's just frustrating when Bitcoin pumps and then politicians just start talking about it. So is the dawn going to be any different? Do we have someone that actually cares about liberty, that actually cares about freedom? Well, this weekend, he was at a libertarian conference talking about Bitcoin, talking about the right to self-custody Bitcoin, talking about keeping goons away from your Bitcoin. Let's see what he had to say. Will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin. Yo, first thing, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop this a lot. So just like buckle in guys, this is gonna be an episode. Honestly, I love that he said the future of crypto and then corrected himself and said the future of Bitcoin. You guys know, if you've been here, part of the Future Proof Gang for a while, you know that we don't like crypto. We know that crypto is a scam. We know that crypto is often centralized. We know that most crypto is a security. However, we know that Bitcoin is sound money and Mr. President sees like, thinks that Bitcoin is sound money as well. We'll ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody. Ooh, you love to hear it. You love to hear it, the support to self-custody. Guys, in the States, self-custody is so important. We have seen time and time and time again, over the last few months only, we've seen companies and people persecuted for trying to enable, for trying to make self-custody possible. Now, as you know, I'm the CEO of a non-custodial Bitcoin platform. Bitcoin Well is literally self-custody by default. There is no other way to buy Bitcoin and we're live in all 50 states. So if the government in the US decides that self-custody isn't going to be something that they support, Bitcoin will die in the US. Because guys, we've heard this lots. Bitcoin is not just price exposure. Bitcoin is not just number go up. Bitcoin is freedom money. Look at this behind me. You can see two things right now. You see a plant, which gives me oxygen, and you see a reminder that the government will steal the assets that you have for their benefit. In 1933, the government made it illegal to self-custody gold. They took the gold, gave you dollars, devalued those dollars by 50% over the next few years, which is shown by the price of gold going up, right? Gold doesn't actually go up. Dollars against gold go down. And the same thing happens in Bitcoin. Dollars against Bitcoin go down. Bitcoin is not that valuable unless it is sitting in a wallet that you own and control. That's the basis, the ethos of self-custody. And so, orange man like orange coin in self-custody. <laughs> to the nation's 50 million crypto holders, I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. Okay, so off the bat, we can kind of see that he's probably pandering. He's probably trying to buy some votes. And, and honestly, what else is a politician to do? This makes sense. But he also hands and takes some pretty serious shots at Elizabeth Warren. He also understands that Elizabeth Warren is going to be anti-Bitcoin. Bitcoin, this non-partisan money, just became a partisan issue. This is now political, not because Bitcoin is political. I will always ascertain that Bitcoin is a political. Bitcoin is for people on both sides of the aisle. Bitcoin is for people that believe in freedom and for people that do not believe in freedom or what they would call a big government. I do believe, however, Bitcoin being political could be a danger. So let's keep watching. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Yeah, big cheers for that one. Big, big, big cheers for that one. A CBDC, honestly, we, like here in Canada, we almost frankly have a CBDC. We saw in Ottawa a few years ago, bank accounts of people donating their money that they own but do not control to the truckers. We saw their banks getting shut down. We saw donations to the truckers being frozen, held, yet to be released. That money still has not been either returned nor given to the intended beneficiary. So in Canada, 
We already have this on a macro, on a larger scale, but we don't have it on a small scale. I can still go out and use my money where I want to. A CBDC, however, would give the government the ability to program restrictions into your money. This would be catastrophic. This would be the end of freedom. This would be the end of you being able to spend your money how you want to. With a CBDC, I truly cannot understand, you know, left side of the argument. I cannot understand why anyone would want government being able to program your money. It just, it makes no sense to me. And so Trump here, obviously pro-Bitcoin, obviously anti-CBDC, things are looking very positive for Bitcoin and even you know the broader for the financial macro in America. How does the internet react? BTC is an invention of communist China. No one has ever claimed it was American. BTC is not an invention of communist China. BTC is not an invention of any one individual. It is not some invention of communist China. I think what Trump is saying, and, and listen to this again. We'll ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA. Yeah, the future of crypto, the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA. That's what he wants, and he's smart. Yo, Bitcoin literally puts governments into competition with each other, because if, the American government says, no, 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 screw this Bitcoin thing, we want it gone. Guess what? All the companies leave, right? They didn't like that with TikTok. We are actively fighting the largest social media company in TikTok entering into the USA because it was not built by Americans, because it was not built by someone on American soil. I can 100% guarantee he will do the opposite of things when he becomes, yeah, man, this is the problem with political runs. This is the problem with politicians. I mean, so in the past, Trump hasn't always been pro Bitcoin. This is why some people are maybe a little sus. This is what this Gucci is talking about here. Yo, Gucci XBT. That's the old kind of sign for, for Bitcoin. So Gucci Bitcoin. This is what he's talking about here. Politicians love to change their tune. Let's see what he had to say on Fox News two years ago. I'll ask you one last question. You don't like Bitcoin. You wouldn't invest in Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin, I, it just seems like a scam. Uh, I was surprised. You know, with us, it was at 6000 and uh, much lower. Uh, I don't like it because it's another currency competing against the dollar. Essentially, it's a currency competing against the dollar. I want the dollar to be the currency of the world. That's what I've always said. Okay. So <laughs> this is an interesting tune. He gets it right away, though. I mean, interesting, too. Like, what is Bitcoin right now? 70,000 USD. He's talking about it at six. So uh, last time I checked, that's purchasing power go up. The dollar is purchasing power go down. I think that he gets kind of maybe one or two levels below the surface area on what is important here. He wants the dollar, the petrodollar effectively, to be the number one world reserve currency. However, what he's completely missing in this 43 second clip is that the dollar is designed to go down. You actually can't, over a long period of time, have a reserve currency if the reserve currency is being debased. And right now, the American dollar is being debased at an alarming rate, in fact, at a rate that it has never been debased at before. This is the fastest, this is the most debasement the American dollar has ever experienced. On this video, we've got Trump just won the election. Yeah, honestly, when you pander to that many people, when you understand that that many people have a vested interest in A, self-custody, and B, non-CBDC money, you kind of go out and win the election. I think this puts an incredible amount of pressure on the Biden administration to understand how to capture some of this Bitcoin market. The fact that you were saying you don't want BTC to compete to the next dollar is really admitting BTC is no scam. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. What does he say? Uh, Bitcoin, it I just seems like a scam. <laughs> this is a scam. I don't want it to compete against the dollar. No, sir. If you thought it was a scam, it wouldn't be able to compete against the dollar. That's a really great point. Printing money out of thin air, <laughs> not a scam. <laughs> Guys, since 1971, the dollar has literally had nothing backing it other than the promises of the government at the time. A government which, by the way, changes every four years. Like. When you think about it, and when you take it back to first principles, you realize how insane the existing monetary system is. What do we think? What do you think? Did Trump actually change his mind? Or is he playing political games here? You know, Trump 
often is seen as some freedom advocate, or at least on that side of the aisle. But I don't know that you can flip your mindset that quickly from Bitcoin is a scam to I will protect your right to self-custody because Bitcoin is freedom money. That takes an enormous amount of time, an enormous amount of self-reflection and thinking, research into what the monetary system is. Do we trust that Trump did the research? Does he have someone in his ear that did the research? Because this script, the script that he's reading at this Libertarian convention is dynamite. It's an, inc I would read that script. It's really, really good. However, is it him or is he just pandering for the votes? And if he is, and you're in America, are you voting for Trump purely because he seems to be pro-Bitcoin? That's it for me, stay sovereign.